Well, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a support unit, basically a platform in the sky. Uh, we'll be looking for, uh, you know, of course, missing and endangered persons, uh, search and rescue operations, special operations, and those type things. It's, uh, it's not going to be overused. It's going to be used appropriately based on uh, the missions that we have. I think a lot of people forget that uh, in a coastal county such as ours, with the, all the commercial fisheries and the commercial fishing that's done, as well as recreational boating, there are times where we have stranded uh, boaters or missing boaters um, and be able to put a helicopter in the air quickly and search for that person uh, to help identify and locate and then get those units to them by water or we may have to call the Coast Guard in to do an airlift and those type things. That's something that we can't do with this helicopter. This is more or less a platform in the sky. It's, a, it's an opportunity for us to use it for search and rescue missions, as well as maybe parades and special events and those type things where we need to uh, have an eye in the sky to oversee uh, some of the things on the ground. Hopefully in the next couple months it will be painted. Matter of fact, Neil and I were just talking about uh, some of the paint schemes. It, the majority of it will be white uh, and the, the markings on it will be similar to our patrol cars. Uh, of course, there'll be some um, some black on top, you know, because of the exhaust. Uh, you can see that on the on the tail as well as uh, on top there. But uh, it'll be a black and white uh, paint scheme.